All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here. And today we have a watch from MMI. Now I've had a few of their watches here on the channel. If you're not familiar, MMI is a small micro brand or not a small micro brand, but a pretty good sized micro brand out of Singapore. Make lots of really, really nice watches. The turret line happens to be one of my favorites. Uh, their turret diver was, I think, one of the last ones I had here on the channel. And this is in their new GMT line. So this is a really cool watch. The uh, new Seiko NH34 movement or 4R34 movement, however you want to put it, has really um, opened up the world for us watch enthusiasts to really affordable GMT watches. And this is going to be one of them. Now, these are available currently at a pre-order price, which I think will save you about $140 over the uh, retail $469 on bracelet for this watch. And that is up until uh, the 15th of February. So just a few more days at that price to save that $140. Um, and after that, they do go up uh, in, in price. Uh, regular price will be $469 on this one at regular retail pricing. So very nice looking timepiece. This is the MMI Turret GMT, this one in canary yellow. They also have a steel black, and I think what they're calling an ice blue model, which are both very beautiful also. Neat, neat color yellow on this watch. Now, you guys, the, the turret terminology comes from the date functionality on this watch. And as you guys can see on this little inner chapter here, that is your date window there and a little cutout uh, in each of those, kind of like a sandwich style style. And you can see up there at the 12 o'clock, the little red patch over the 31. Now it's not the 31st, but that's where I have it set so it's easy to see. So as the day changes, that little red dot will move around to the day of the week. And I think that's a really cool functionality. And that's where the term uh, for the turret comes from. So uh, GMT watch, as you guys can tell, it retains a 120 click diver's bezel, which I actually really appreciate. That's one of the things I really like a GMT watch. And I like a diver's watch. But one of the things with GMT watches that drives me crazy is when they go to a true, true GMT bezel and you use, lose that timer functionality. So I don't never need ever need to keep track of more than two time zones. So having that independently settable uh, GMT hand is just fine for me. I don't have to necessarily have the 24 hour bezel. So, but nice, nice time, pe beautiful time piece, excuse me, beautiful sword hands, as you guys can see. Now there's a combination of BGW9 and C3 Super Luminova on this watch. Uh, between the dial and the bezel on the watch. And we'll get a look at that. Also on this watch, if you guys aren't familiar, MMI uh, looms their signed crown there. So that's actually super luminova in there. Now, as we got it turned to the side here, you can see the finishing on the watch. You can see a polished chamfer there underneath the bezel. Brushing along the sides, and this is pretty standard uh, for the lineup um, of the turret lineup. The bezel insert itself, I do believe, is a ceramic bezel insert Beautifully done, and like I said, loomed with that C3 Super Luminova. The bracelet on the watch is nice. Nothing really spectacular to talk about here. It's a 22 millimeter, and it doesn't taper much, which keeps it uh, pretty chunky and heavy, which is fine for a dive watch. The uh, clasp assembly, again, nothing really too fancy going on here. Pretty standard in the industry, if you ask me, but it does have some micro adjustments. Uh, it looks like five to be exact, which is very nice. I do believe this is a screw link bracelet. As you guys can see there, nice big screws, gonna be easy to make any kind of adjustments on this watch you need to. And taking a look at the case back here, you guys can see the turret, the 300 meters water resistance, sapphire crystal, 316L stainless steel, um, and st oh yes, stainless steel. Now this says 59 over 88. From what I know, this is not a limited edition run. Now maybe they're only making 88 of each color in the first go around, but I'm not, I didn't see anything on the website about these being uh, limited edition timepieces. There may be something I'm missing there. Quick release uh, spring bars on this watch, making it super easy to do those strap changes. So very nice timepiece, uh, 40 millimeters from side to side, 47 lug tip to lug tip, comes in at 13 and a half millimeters of thickness, and you have 22 millimeter lug openings for the size overall on this watch. Let's go ahead and throw this one on my seven inch wrist and be sure to stick around for that loom shot. All right, so here you can see the watch on my seven inch wrist. 40 millimeter case fits my wrist well. Just to give you guys an idea, this is not adjusted for my uh, wrist and you guys can see how much meat's left there on that bracelet. For me, it does make this bracelet feel really, really heavy. I think just because there's so much left over, if it was to be fitted to me, it would really balance the watch out quite a bit, but it does feel heavy with so much bracelet on it right now. Let's go ahead and dim the lights and check out the loom. All right, so like I said, with this watch, you're gonna have a combination of uh, both X1, but C3 and BGW9. Um, so you're going to get the blue and the green effect out of the loom on this watch. And you guys can see that here. The handsets are nice and blue with that BGW9. And then you've got that nice C3 glow in green on that bezel insert. But really cool, really nicely done. It even looks like the 
it even looks like the dial's glowing there. Am I right in saying that? It almost looks like the dial glows a little bit. So maybe something I'm missing there, but beautiful colorway in this canary yellow. Awesome watch from MMI. If you guys are interested, follow the link down below in the description of this video and get in at the pre-order price. Save yourself $140. If you're looking for a unique GMT offering, I think this is a really, really neat one and has a lot, a lot to offer for the price point. So, all right, guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you're not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do, please do. Thanks, guys.